Hey y'all, uh, this is a video about a uh, user asking me how to mount uh, NTF partitions, NTFS, uh, aka Windows partitions, and uh, how to have them mounted at startup, and the permissions, etc. Um, I have uh, at least four. So I go to the desktop here and I right click, and if you go to icons, and I'll just select show volumes. One, two, three, four. Okay. Now if I click on these, it just opens up right away. All right. But you have to configure some um, permissions, so I'm going to unmount that. Okay, it's not finished. Okay, so I usually don't show these anyway, but uh, if you see that, um, that's what's going on. So here's some notes I made. Uh, you need to get some files from Pac-Man. Gammon, GVFS, GVFS, NTFS 3G, and DOS tools. Uh, the NTFS 3G is to enable read and write to the NTFS partitions. GVS is for uh, file permissions, and Gammon is part of the Thunar, I think. So, I'm just copy. I already have these installed, but I'll just copy this. Go to a terminal, zoom in, zoom out for a sec, paste. Zoom back in, just press enter, and as you can see, it says reinstalling all those files, so I don't need to, so I'm going to press no here. Okay? Once installed, you have to configure uh, GVFS itself. So uh, to do that, um, it's better to go into your super user account, and then uh, we'll change directory to Etsy. Uh, pull kit dash one and then rules dot d and if I do a list out I have a, uh, three files in here and the one you want to create is this one the first one is 10 enable mount dot rules and if uh, you have gedit or nano um, or whatever I'm going to use leafpad and then a space and then uh, start typing 10 dash enable now it's already been created so that's why I can tab complete but you'll have to type the whole thing in uh, because it's usually it's not created by default and here it is here and that's all you do you just uh, copy and paste this in I'll put this in the, uh, the description to a paste bin and it's also on the Arch Linux wiki and the effects are immediate um, you don't have to reboot or anything okay and you can um, next part is to add um, U to uh, permissions of disk. So if you're still in root, you can just do a G password dash A percent user will, will include you, your name and then disk, and I'll say your name has been added. Okay. Next is to list out the drives, and that's sudo bl kid. So we'll go back to the uh, terminal. I'll exit out of here. And it's sudo b l k i d. Enter. Give it a second. And you can see here it has all of the partitions, including uh, the Linux one I'm using. But you, it tells you what type it is: NTFS, NTFS. And the top one here is extension four. I know something interesting. It's upon each reboot, these are in different order. I don't know why. Uh, so what we want, for example, if I want to mount uh, this partition mirror is that's just a label you don't have to worry about it is the main thing is we want the device DEV SDC 1 and the type but right now we just want this okay so first of all um, let's do a sudo mkdir slash and that slash will tell it to go to root directory, mirror, enter, okay? And then uh, we want to mount that uh, partition. It's a little different though, and it's right here. Um, sudo mount dash t ntfs 3g and then your device to the directory we just made. So we'll just copy and paste this. Control C, 
back to our command line, paste, enter. Now if we go into, uh, this is XFCE4, we go into Thunar, and control L and just hit the uh, slash. You can see mirror is here, it's listed here. And it'll give you the contents of the NTFS. You can tell this in a recycle bin, volume system information. You can tell this is a Windows partition. Okay. So this is for um, making this to, to run at boot up. If you don't want to do that, um, all you have to do is uh, the, these first parts here. Configure GVSS, GVFS, sorry, and then add your user to disk, and that's it. But beyond that, we'll list, list out the drives, then make a directory to check, and then mount it. And then uh, to unmount, it's just sudo umount slash mirror. So, because you don't want it to, well, you can leave it there if you want, but it's best to do that. So I'll just paste that in. Now, if you go back to, uh, say, your home and go to slash just one slash, go to mirror, there's nothing there because it's been uh, unmounted. Okay, so to make this run at startup, we're going to add this to the file system table tab. And that's, I'll zoom in here, the device that we just mentioned, the uh, directory made, and then uh, NTFS3G is the file system type. And then we'll add the UID so username here would be my username so you just replace username with your username and the rest is the same so again sudo leafpad etsy fs tab okay and make this a bit larger So I'll just take that line, highlight it, or I'll copy, and then at the beginning of the next line here, under this device here, just paste that in. Um, and sort of space these out a bit, if you want. And maybe you add, the, put this over here. This is just for readability. It's no. It doesn't really make much difference. And bring this back. Again, it doesn't really matter. So, and control uh, S to save, and control Q to quit. And then after that, uh, reboot. So, I'm going to just save that. Close. And uh, I'll come back after a reboot and see what the. Uh, if it's working and what the difference is. Okay, so we're back after a reboot and let's do that same thing. Go to desktop settings, icons, and removable drives. And you notice one thing, the, uh, if you remember, the uh, NTFS drive mirror is no longer here and that's normal, okay? If you have these on your desktop, I just uncheck that because I don't need them there. If you go to Thunar, you won't see it. So you have to actually go to the directory slash mirror and there it is there all right and you can uh, play stuff from it movies or whatever you have you can uh, create a new document create a new folder you can delete etc so um to make this a little more accessible there's a couple things you can do just open a terminal and uh, in uh, Arch Linux, it's fairly straightforward. Is uh, we'll do a ln s uh, slash mirror again that directory, and then we'll just call it if you want to call it mirror or whatever. Enter, exit the terminal, back to our home folder. You see now there's a sim link to mirror, and it's the same thing, except it's. Uh, It'll show you in the address a different, like it's in your home folder now, the sim link. All right, you can drop it in uh, somewhere here, I think, in your favorites. Yep. 
you can rename it, remove it, or whatever. So there's your home folder. You can middle click if you had it set up for Sunar to go to the mirror on NTFS and just close. So that's um, how you would uh, set up NTFS in Arch Linux and uh, specifically uh, Thunar or XF and, and XFCE4. Um, and if you want to remove it, just, to late, just take out that line in the file system table and just remove the dot mirror if you wish, the slash mirror in your root directory, and that's it. Like I usually have these uh, on the fly, so I'll back up. And when I don't need it, I just unmount. But uh, if you want it running at startup, um, if you have, like, say, music and it's taking up more room than you need on your hard drive, you can make another sim link uh, to music that's on Mirror if you want. I don't have one there, but if you want to, you can do that as well. Okay? So I hope that helps out the user that asked and anybody else that's interested in uh, setting up NTFS or Windows partitions in uh, Arch Linux. Okay? So that's it for this one, and uh, thanks so much for watching. Apologies for the audio. I don't know what's wrong. Uh, it's uh, a little staticky. Anyways, uh, have a great day, and uh, we'll talk to you soon. And bye for now.